mess with in my life There was an emptiness in me I was imprisoned by the past Our project is called Malama Kekahi Kekahi it means caring for each other. The project is based around the homeless on the windward side of Oahu and we are trying to help them get back on their feet. Some of the things that we did for this project included um, hosting a work day to collect all donated items that we can also donate to homeless people. And we are also donating to Family Promise which is in Kailua. We helped the homeless and what they do, they start off, they, they come here and this is the day center so every night to after five o'clock they go to a certain church that they're assigned and they come back like six in the morning so they what they do they stay here for about like at least three months and they help them get into programs and then help them on their way it's like a transitional house so from here they go out and we find them homes and we also help with electricity first month's rent things like that so it's all a non-profit kind of thing we all brought things together from our own homes and we also asked multiple different places to donate some items such as Missy Suits. Our main goal was to shed light onto our project Malama Kekahi Kekahi to help the homeless because we wanted to make an impact in their lives and be able to benefit them and help them get the resources that they needed. Another outcome was to kind of build upon what Harold Castle and his wife built on the Windward side. We wanted to like, have the community grow just as they wanted to. The last album we wanted was to kind of like strengthen the bond that we have and also like grow as youth leaders. I think so, I think so. Yeah. Other goals that we have accomplished with this project include um, giving back to the Windward community as well as helping people in need. Participants conducted the whole project. We gathered our friends, we sent letters out, we distributed the items with the help of our parents. We tried to focus on more of our younger girls so that they can see what's out there and they see how much more that they have. We're there to advise to make sure that we're heading on the right path. Uh, there's a total of 25 youth participants that helped with the project that included all youth members from our Hello as well as friends that came to help us. We ended up completing our goal of 250 hours and that was all from youth. We had many other hours as well that was put in from the, the adults that we couldn't add in. but. They still helped us out and put in their time. When we first began our project, we weren't sure whether we would be able to meet the hour requirements for us to be successful in a project, but after we all gathered our families and friends and added up our hours, we realized that it was a lot easier than expected. I think what we all kind of learned throughout this project is what it means to be grateful for what we have and not to take our parents for granted because in this day and age you can kind of get caught up in technology and what it does for us. I would say to plan as much as possible because there's, you can never have enough hours of planning and to get as much help 
as possible because with many hands equals less work. And lastly, to never forget your initial purpose of your activity, whatever it may be. With ours, it was to help the less fortunate. And we can kind of get caught up in the money outcome of what Castle Foundation provides for us and all. We kind of have to step back and remember that we did this event so we could help other people and not to help ourselves.